Hello, good morning viewers. This tutorial is all about how you can identify whether a function is even or an odd function. And in this tutorial, we are only going to restrict the discussion based on algebraic functions and trigonometric functions. So now let us start with algebraic functions. Okay, here are examples of algebraic functions. We have x squared, 2x minus 3, x to the power of 3 minus 4, and so on. All of these functions are said to be algebraic functions. So how can we identify whether an algebraic function is an even or an odd function? Basically, we have three methods. The first one is by considering the exponents of the unknown variables. Second method is by substituting x with negative x. And the last method is by graphing. Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, here we have a function 2x squared minus 4. And we want to find out whether it is an even function or an odd function. I told you the first method is by considering the exponents of the unknown variables. Here you can see the power is 2 and 2 is even. And naturally 4 has an x to the power of 0. And this 0 is also an even. So if all the powers of the unknown variables are even, then we say that function entirely is an even function. Therefore, this function is an even function. A second way to identify whether it is even or not is by substituting x with negative x. So in general, if f of negative x equal to f of x, then we see that that function is an even function. But if f of negative x turns out to be negative f of x, then we say the function is odd. So let us test for this one. So f of negative x will be equal to 2 multiplied by negative x to the power of 2 minus 4. All right, because this is our original function. So let's simplify this and see. This is 2 multiplied by negative x squared. That negative, because the power is even, will make it to be positive. So this becomes x squared minus 4. Well, look at this function. It is exactly as the original function. So we see that this is f of x which is the same thing as f of negative x. And so we say what? This is an even function. And lastly, we can find out by graphing. And how can we identify whether it is even or odd in a graph? An even function is symmetrical about y-axis. So let's check and see whether this is true. So we have 2x squared minus 4. Let's see the graph. All right, can you see the graph? It is symmetrical about y-axis. This is y-axis. And the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Y-axis just divide the curve into two equal parts. So we see that it is an even function. Okay, let us test for another function. If you have a function like, say, um, x to the power of 3, is this function an even function or an odd function? From the first method, you can see that the power is odd. Therefore, we see that this function is odd. Secondly, we can find out by substituting x with negative x. So if x is negative, we have a negative x to the power of 3. I remember that this is the same thing as negative x multiplied by negative x multiplied by negative x negative x times negative x is x squared then x squared times negative x is negative x to the power of 3 all right you can see what differentiate this function and the original function is negative so we see that this is the same thing as negative the original function which is f of x so f of negative x is exactly equal to negative f of x and hence we say that this is an odd function and lastly by graphing we can check it by graphing if you have x to the power of 3 let's see the graph all right can you see the graph it is symmetrical about the origin this is the origin 
and the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. That's why this is a reflection of this. But the graph is decreasing to the left hand side and it is increasing to the right hand side. And we conclude by saying that this function is an odd function. And I told you sometimes you may have a function which is neither an odd function, no an even function. That is when you have a combination of even powers and odd powers. Example, if you have a function like 2x squared plus x, you can see x has a power of 1 which is odd and also a power of 2 which is even. So a combination of the two will result to a nether of the two. Neither even no odd. Okay, now let us talk about trigonometric functions. Let's start with sine, cos, and tan. We have sine x. Is sine x an even function or an odd function? All right, first of all, let us substitute sine of negative x is equal to negative sine sine x. You can see that this is from the original function. What differentiate them is the negative sign. And hence we say that the right hand side is negative f of x while this is f of negative x. And from definition, we say that this is an odd function. And you can check it graphically. Let's find out. We have sine x. All right, you can see the graph. It is symmetrical about the origin, just like in x to the power of 3. And hence, we say that sine x is an odd function. Okay, what about cos x? If f of x equal to cos x, what of f of negative x? Cos of negative x. But cos of negative x is the same thing as cos of x, which is exactly equal to the original function, f of x. Therefore, f of negative x is equal to f of x and when this condition holds we say that that function is an even function and we can check it graphically when we have cos x look at how the graphs look like can you see that the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis look at it here the y-axis divide the graph into two equal parts. Whatever is on the left-hand side is exactly what is on the right-hand side. And we see that this function is an even function. Okay, having known this, let us test for other ratios like tan, cosecant, secant, and so on. So what about if you have a function of tan x? You know tan x is the same thing as sine x divided by cos x so if you have f of negative x you can substitute it right here you have sine of negative x divided by cos of negative x you know sine of negative x is the same thing as negative sine of x and cos of negative x is the same thing as cos of x so you can see that this new function, negative sine x divided by cos x, is just the same thing as negative the original function, f of x. Therefore, f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. This means that tan x is an is odd function. Okay, let's test for secant x. If you have a function secant x, you know secant is the same thing as 1 over cos. 
So if we are to substitute x with negative x, we have 1 over cos of negative x. And cos of negative x is the same thing as cos x. So this is 1 divided by cos x, which is just like the original function f of x. Therefore, f of negative x is the same thing as f of x. Therefore, we conclude by saying that second x is an even function. Now let us test for cosecant x. If you have a function cosec x, you know cosec x is the same thing as 1 over sine x. So let's substitute x equal to negative x f of negative x is the same thing as 1 over sine of negative x. Sine of negative x is the same thing as negative sine x. So this is 1 over negative sine of x, which we can write as negative 1 divided by sine x. And this is just the same thing as negative the original function f of negative x and hence we say that cosecant x is even so this is how you can identify whether a function is even or odd and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye